is it up? The 2011 National Examination Council Christian Religious Studies, Paper 1. And this has to do with the objectives. As I will always tell you, do not forget to write your name and your examination number any and every time you enter. And after doing that, wait to till you hear the next instruction about opening the booklet. And then read through the instructions very well in order not to make any mistake. All right, now let's see the first example there that will serve as a guide. The first example there that will serve as a guide, one to tell us how to answer and what to answer. We have, as, as I have told you be, before, five options there, from options A to options to option E, and only one is correct. And you're not allowed to shed two. Just one, if you shed two, you are, you are bound to lose that very mark there. All right, so let's look at the example provided to serve as a guide. The two main rivers of Babylon are dash and dash. And we are giving Euphrates and Tigris, Jordan and Pison, Nile and Euphrates, Nile and Jordan, Tigris and Nile. And the correct option there, the correct answer there is option A. And you can see how it's shaded very well there. The example is there. You can see how well it's done. All right. Now, when you make a mistake, please make sure you erase completely. Do not leave any mark there. And nothing should be written on your computer sheet. Every rough work should be done on the question paper. All right. Now, let's go to question number one. And that states, according to the creation story, According to the creation story, God saw everything that he made, and behold, it was dash. And behold, it was dash. A, excellent. B, good. C, marvelous. D, perfect. E, wonderful. The answer there, according to the Bible, is, and God saw everything that he made, and behold, it was good. So the correct answer, Answer there is option B. The, the correct answer there is option B. Option B. Now let's go to question number two. The concept of the new life, the concept of the new covenant teaches Christians to A. Encourage celibacy. That's wrong. B. Encourage circumcision. No, that's not true. C. Engage in eye service, basically, no. D, obey the law of Moses. No, that's not talking about the new covenant. The new covenant, according to the prophet, as saying, serve willingly in your legitimate duties. So the answer is option E. The concept of the new covenant teaches Christians to serve willingly in their legitimate duties. And that is option E. All right. Now let's go to the third question. Question number three. What was Joseph's last statement before he revealed himself to his brothers? What was Joseph's last statement before he revealed himself to his brothers? A. Do not be afraid. Yes, Joseph said that, but that was not the last statement he made. So that's the wrong answer. B. I am Joseph, whom you sold. That is the revelation. So that was not the last statement before the revelation. That is the revelation itself. C, I am seeking my brothers. Joseph never made that statement, so that's a wrong option. D, is my father still alive? Joseph made that statement after he might have revealed himself. So that was not the last statement before he revealed himself. E, make everyone go out from me. That was the last statement Joseph made when he wanted everyone to be out before he reveals himself to his brothers. So the answer is option E. All right, so let's go to the next question. Question number four. 
Where were the Israelites when they saw the approaching Egyptian army? When the Israelites saw the Egyptians pursuing them before they reached the Red Sea? Where were they? A. Bethel. No, that's not the answer. B. Hebron. C. Megiddo. D. Pihahirot, which is the correct answer. Not Shechem, where Joshua addressed the Israelites. So the answer is D. Pihahirot. All right, let's go to question number five. One of the lessons from the story of greed exhibited by Ahab is that A. Greed is not evil. Greed is not evil. That's not true because greed is actually evil. B. Position justifies greed. It's not true because Ahab's position and Jezebel's position, Ahab being the king and Jezebel being the queen, never justified their action of greed. C. The consequences of greed affects the innocent. That is true because the consequence of Ahab's and Jezebel's greed affected the whole of the people because of the drought they experienced for three good years. So that is the correct answer because if you go to D, you will see that we should protect, we should protect our inheritance. Though we should do that, but that is not what that story is talking about. And E, women influence their husbands negatively. That's even an overstatement because it's a generalization. Not all women influence their husbands negatively. So the answer to the question is option C, where the consequences of greed affect even the innocent. All right, let's go to the next question. Question number six. Elijah called for a contest between him and the worshippers of Baal in order to do what? Why did he call that contest? In order to do what? To demonstrate God's power over all powers. Yes. B. Prove that the drought could end through sacrifice. No, that was not the aim. C. Show that God always answered him by fire. That was not the aim. Though God answered him by fire, but that was not the aim or the, the or, or objective of that so D show that he could bring rain. No. E stop the continued harassment of the prophets of God. No. So the correct answer there is option A. Demonstrate God's power over all powers. That's option A. Is the correct answer. Now let's go to question number seven. Which of these was Nehemiah's reaction? when he received the situation report on Jerusalem and those left in it after the fall of the city. He a, appealed to the king of Babylon to allow the exiles to return home. That was not his immediate reaction. That was not his reaction there. B, could not stand before the king for several days. No, he stood before the king and even served though with a gloomy face. C, left immediately for Jerusalem to rebuild the walls. No, he didn't even leave immediately. He left after some days. D, wept, fasted, and prayed for days. That was exactly what he did when he got that situation report. E, wrote to the sovereign, wrote to the governors of the province before the river. No, that was not beyond the river. That was not the, his immediate reaction. His immediate reaction was that he wept, he fasted, and he prayed for this. So that makes option D the correct answer. All right, so let's go to question number eight. The faith and courage of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego made Nebuchadnezzar issue a decree that after the issue, after the case of they could not be burnt in the fire because of their faith and courage. What was the reaction of the king Nebuchadnezzar? He issued a decree that all men must worship his golden image. No, because it was that golden image that caused him to even issue a decree after he could not destroy Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. B, anyone who spoke against God 
will be destroyed. And that was his correct answer because if you look and see, the enemies of the three Jews should be demoted. No, that didn't happen. D, the enemies who reported the Jews should be thrown into the furnace. No, unbelievers must be thrown into the fairy furnace. No, he issued a decree. There was a law he made immediately that anybody that speaks against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego would be destroyed. And that is option number B. Who is the top?